Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to store key value pairs, you know, internally on your device for local usage. So I've already got the code set up. I'm going to run through this with you. What I want you to do is make sure you've gone through the previous video, which was about reading and writing to files. This is essentially an extension of that. There's a few modifications to it, which you can check out in the source code. And I'm going to be, you know, covering it. So basically what I need to do is go from the reading and writing files code that we did in that video and adapt it into this one. So the first thing that you want to do, go to the pubspec.yaml and add the shared preferences dependency. The latest version as of creating this video is 0 0.5.1 plus 2. And as usual, you can get the latest version by going to pub.darklang.org for such packages. Let's go search for shared references. And here we go. And we can go to installing. And if we literally just copy that and you do flutter get, we, you don't even need to do it. You can just click that. You don't need to type the command out. And okay, then you need to actually do the import. You don't need to do all the other crazy imports that you did for reading and writing to files. Okay, so what else have we got in here? So we've got a you know a few methods. So this will initially just load the counter. As you can see, this is you know a lot simpler than the reading and writing files code. So you have your load counter, you create a shared preferences, and this will you know, be dynamic whether it's on Android or whether it's on iOS, you'll handle all of that in the back end. Then you can do a set state, which is just normal stuff. And then to actually get something, you just do press dot get int, then the name of it. So this is the key. Then you know this will return the actual value. And then if, if there isn't something then you'll just put zero there. And again when you are incrementing it you've got to you know open it up. You'll do press dot get int and same to the same thing we are getting the value that is at the key counter adding one and then to set it just to press dot set in the name of the key the value and that is it and obviously there is a button that increments it but as you see it is extremely simple to utilize shared preferences so i want you to have a go at that if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.